morning everyone I'm Lizzie from seven and all and today I'm gonna to be taking you with me throughout my day teaching during the coronavirus downstairs because we live on campus for all my classes but today I'm going to be teaching first hour class from home and I've only done this once before but my students are working on a project and I'm just going to be there to help answer questions and guide them through any through anything that they um, run into so it's going to be a pretty simple day for them so I can easily do that from home. After that I'm probably going to eat some breakfast and then head down to the classroom so I can get ready to teach my other classes and stuff mm. like that. Mm. So mm. if you want to see what a day in the life is like for a teacher in China at a boarding school during coronavirus then just keep watching. It's just about lunchtime, so I'm gonna go down to the cafeteria, grab some lunch. They're serving us meals three times a day, but I usually don't go and grab breakfast just because uh, the timing is pretty close to my first hour of class, and also the food is really good, but it's kind of unhealthy. Mm -hmm. uh, like, um, it's just a lot of oil, a lot of carbs, so if I eat at home, for breakfast, then I can usually eat a bit healthier. I'm gonna go grab my lunch. I'm gonna go early because the salad always runs out every day. So you gotta go early if you want your veggies. today got some salad this is some tofu and then I've got some salmon over here which is really good but I'm probably gonna give most of this to Joey because it's his favorite thing that the cafeteria serves and I have my tea and I also got a little egg tart I also picked up Joey's lunch he has to teach during most of lunch so They'll just pack you a, a lunch that you can pick up later. If you are teaching during lunch, I just grab that for him. And I'm gonna get started. I love this salad dressing. It's very yummy, sesame salad dressing. It's gonna be really good. Super thankful for the cafeteria cooking food for us all the time, it's so nice. Usually I get to eat lunch with Joey, but there's two days a week where he has classes. And I 
usually eat in the cafeteria. But right now the cafeteria is serving food that you can take but you can't eat there because of the virus. I'm super, super grateful that they feed us every day. It's so nice. They've always fed us, but usually it's been five days a week during the normal school year. And right now they're feeding us seven days a week. Are you happy about lunch today? Yes, I'm very happy about lunch today because today we got salmon, which is my favorite. They, mm. they also gave you some chicken nuggets. Uh, yes, they did, which is interesting, <laughs> chicken nuggets and salmon. <laughs> and also, I would like to take this opportunity to show you some of my favorite purchases in China. <laughs> Real Frank's Red Hot, this was the only size they had. That was very hard to find, huh? And also, Tabasco Chipotle flavor. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Taobao. Yeah. <laughs> classroom and I'm gonna teach a couple of zoom classes and then I've got to put in some grades I did some grading at home this morning graded some FRQs FRQs always take a super long time uh, but I got those done and I got to put in the grades do some planning and then at the end of the work day I have some super cool stuff that I'll talk to you about in a little bit after classes. Um, me and Joey are starting something very cool and actually no one knows about it. So if you are watching this vlog, Day in the Life, you might be one of the first few people to find out. So that's exciting. All right, gonna teach some economics. I will see you guys later. I almost forgot my blue light glasses. Hello everyone, welcome to economics class today. Good afternoon. How are you guys today? Good. All right, don't get scared, I told you. All right, time is up for your due now. Now, um, I think I told you guys, we don't have an upward sloping supply curve for money. I know it's difficult because usually our supply curves are upward sloping, but not in this case. Can any of you tell me why the money supply curve looks like this? Jimmy. Trust is controlled by the central bank, but the government's basic part of it is nothing, not no related to the interest rate. Exactly. So this axis is quantity, and the Fed, or the central bank, decides how much quantity of money is in the economy. So they just decide it. It's not related to the interest rate. So if it always stays right here at this quantity, no matter what the interest rate is, it's going to be a vertical line. You will draw in this sector. You guys are all drawing the same graphs. You're drawing the money market graph. Everyone else, you're not going to draw on the whiteboard here, but I want you to draw on a piece of paper. Yep. So we can all get practice. All right, I'm in a really good mood because I just had a couple classes um, and my students are just so funny. They're so good. Um, I have AP classes for economics and I also have eighth grade classes. I just finished a couple of the eighth grade classes and they're actually 75 minutes long, which I think is a bit long, especially when we are doing the Zoom classes. So I try to break it up, do different kinds of things. Um, but the problem is I keep thinking that this is going to end every week and I keep thinking they're going to be back in my classroom on Monday. They got to be. We've been doing this for nine weeks. And um, every week we aren't back. And so the planning part is hard because I really have been uh not planning that we will keep doing this for so long so i'm planning week by week and especially for the last week i haven't really been thinking about online materials and online projects because i already have the stuff printed for when we're going to be back in class because uh, again i just really thought this would be over by now things are getting better in china things are opening up uh you can go out not a lot of cases in our province so uh yeah we kind of got some info today not official but as official as it can be that we're not going to start at least for an another three weeks 
which honestly is really good to know because now I can actually plan and figure out, okay, if we're not going to be back for the next three weeks, what are we going to do? Um, so I do like to know that that's the plan instead of every week not really knowing what's, what's going to happen. So yep, now I'm going to work on putting in the grades and then I'm going to work on some planning, which is going to be really good. I need to do that and then I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I just finished some work that I needed to do, feeling good about the next week. And now that the work day is over, it is time for me and also Joey to begin our grad school work. Today is the first day of classes for both of us. We have started a program, a master's program, master's in education, and we're super excited. So I want to take a look at the syllabus it just posted and take a look at our first few homework assignments and get started. We're going to take it slow, just one class at a time since we're both full-time teachers. I think that is doable and we should finish in about two years so definitely i think a good program for us so i'm excited i'm gonna get to that right now all right i'm home again uh looking at what we need to do this week at grad school was super fun we've got some reading to do and some papers to write but it looks cool i'm excited to be back in school we're gonna have our friends over for dinner so i'm probably not gonna vlog that but i'm gonna start cleaning up and cooking and hang out with them tonight probably play overcook which is a really fun game if you haven't tried it yet you should try it and uh that's about it thanks for watching this video this was a day in the life of lizzie from seven and all Give us a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.